the figures for Sacramento. Steven Adams already with 14 rebounds in that first half, along with four points. The Grizzlies out rebounding the Kings by one, 30 to 29 edge on the glass. They are being out rebounded on the offensive glass, 12 to 10. The Kings with 11 second chance points in that first half. Grizzlies with 10 offensive rebounds and five second chance points. But it's the Grizzlies with a one point lead at the breakup, 59 to 58. Still ahead on the halftime show. We'll have first half highlights for you coming up next. We'll also get you up on some scores around a light night of action in the NBA. A rough afternoon for the Memphis Tigers men's basketball team and a busy day in the NFL. You're listening to the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. 43%. That's how much of the average home's utilities are spent on heating and cooling. Is your system over 10 years old? Is your energy usage going up? Do you have temperature or humidity issues? If you said yes to any of these, it's time to consider a new home comfort system from Landmark Heating and Air. With product shortages and price increases forecasted to continue into next year, a planned replacement has never been more important. Schedule your no-cost consultation with Landmark Heating and Air today at 901-365-4260. Are you ready? The toughest sport on dirt is back for an all-new 2023 season. Join the party and come watch the Cowboys of the PBR Pendleton Whiskey Velocity Tour ride the rankest bulls on the planet. The Bluff City Classic, February 18th at FedEx Forum. Tickets start at 15 bucks. Get yours at PBR.com or Ticketmaster.com. Get them while you can and find out what it means to be Cowboy. Well, the 2022 holiday season is upon us and a lot has changed in Memphis and the world. But one thing that hasn't changed in 163 years, you can still do your shopping at O'Call. It's a shopping experience that will warm your heart. You'll see familiar faces on the staff and friends and family stopping by the store. And anything you buy will bring joy to someone all year long. There's always complimentary gift wrapping too. So please remember those in need this season and happy holidays from your friends at O'Call. This season, Let It Fly Sports Bar is your NBA headquarters. Catch all the Grizzlies games and more. Let It Fly Sports Bar is giving the Memphis area a unique dining experience while giving access to tons of sports channels in high definition. Founded by Mike Miller, former standout for the Memphis Grizzlies, Let It Fly captures the energy of what Memphis sports is all about. Let It Fly Sports Bar, 9091 Poplar in Germantown. Check out the great menu and more at letitflymemphis.com. Go Grizzlies. Welcome back into the Memphis Grizzlies halftime show. Grizzlies leading the Sacramento Kings 59 to 58 at the break here at FedEx Forum. Let's take a listen to some of the first half highlights. Grizzlies on the second night of a back-to-back after beating the New Orleans Pelicans here at home last night. A bit of a slow start. Didn't have a field goal until nearly five minutes into the game when Jaron Jackson Jr. finally hit a three. Then John Morant found Stephen Adams for the alley-oop jam to pull the Grizzlies within five, down 16 to 11. Morant working on Herter, lobs to the rim for Adams. Adams jams with two hands. High pick and roll leads to an alley-oop. Grizzlies got the lead to 5, 16 to 11. Grizzlies put together a 7-0 run. Tyus Jones, the vision to John Morant for the slam, gave them the lead 18 to 16. Roddy missed them both. Conchar got the rebound, lob to the rim. Jones to Morant. Morant puts the Grizzlies on top. Rebound by Conchar leads to the lob from Jones to Morant. Morant soaring. Grizzlies led by one after the first quarter, 27-26. John Morant with 13 points in the frame. Grizzlies lived a little bit at the free throw line, going 11-14 at the stripe. Held the Kings to 28% shooting. Tyus Jones caught fire from three in the second quarter. This three put the Grizzlies up 46-40. to Grabbed by Conchar. Grizzlies on the move. Conchar to Jones. Another three. Give him three more. Ring it up. Put three on the board. Tyus Jones with 15 off the bench in the first half. And the fans in FedEx Forum jump out of their seats and cheer on the home team. John Conchar in the starting lineup for the Grizzlies tonight with Desmond Bain sitting on the second line of a back-to-back. The fast break finish for Conchar put the Grizzlies up 54-50. to Conchar pokes it away from Fox, picked up by Jones, ahead to Conchar, and he jams with two hands. John Morant was behind him. Conchar didn't want to chance it. You know he'd give it to Morant anytime he could, but I don't know that he knew Morant was back there and made sure he got the two. Grizzlies pushed the lead to four. Conchar had three steals in the first half, along with five points and four rebounds. And the Grizzlies with a one-point lead up 59-58 to over the Kings at the break. When we come back, we'll catch you up on as many scores as we can around the NBA, college basketball, and the National Football League. You're listening to the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. 
Ooh, we the Grizz are on fire this year, John. And they aren't the only team on fire. You're right about that. The team at Tops just launched a limited time offer. Get this, Tops Fire Braised Chicken with Memphis White Sauce. Pulled chicken, seared over an open flame, piled high on a Tops bun, and drizzled with a special Memphis White Sauce that's creamy and tangy with a little Memphis kick. Put the Tops Fire Braised Chicken with Memphis White Sauce in your starting lineup today. Available now at Tops Poplar, State Line, and Fraser locations, and more to come. Say there was a place, the perfect place for the everyday things you need to take care of around the house. The squeaky hinges and burned out bulbs, the toilets that run and faucets that don't. That perfect place wouldn't be a warehouse. It would be East Memphis Ace Hardware, locally owned and operated at Quince and White Station. It's your place to fix those everyday things that need taken care of. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their stuff. Welcome to East Memphis Ace Hardware, the home convenience store. Consumer investigator Andy Wise here. I've covered my share of disasters, and I can tell you the people of Service Master by Cornerstone are the experts when it comes to disaster cleanup. They use all modern methods to repair the damage, be it a home gutted by fire or a five-story commercial building racked by storm damage, with a laser focus on getting your home or commercial building back to normal. Service Master by Cornerstone has the respect of risk insurance adjustments and emergency contractors. It will save your business or home. Make the wise choice for disaster cleanup. Service Master by Cornerstone. When it comes to NBA basketball, the action is nonstop next level. An NBA League Pass gives you more. Stream more live games. Get more expert analysis. More camera angles. More classic games. More incredible action. All the way you want NBA League Pass. Subscribe today and stream more. Welcome back to FedEx Forum, where the Grizzlies lead the Kings 59-58 to at the half. One of three games around the NBA this evening. The Nuggets lead the Celtics 64-56 to in the third quarter. Nikola Jokic, 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists to lead Denver. Jalen Brown with 18 points. Jason Tatum with 16 for Boston, the Wizards lead the Bucks 68 to 50. Kristaps Porzingis with 14 points. Rui, Rui Hachimura with 16 points off the bench for Washington. A tough loss for the Memphis Tigers men's basketball team earlier today as they continue AAC play. Lost to Tulane 96 to 89. Kendrick Davis had 31 points in the loss for Memphis. Sunday night football, real barn burner between the Steelers and the Ravens, all tied up at three all with 3.30 to play in the first half. A loss tonight knocks the Steelers out of the playoffs and would give Mike Tomlin his first ever losing season as a head coach. A Ravens win would also force a winner-takes-all matchup with the Bengals next week for the top spot in the AFC North. But here at FedEx Forum, the Grizzlies looking for their third win in a row or their first win of 2023 as they're on top of the Kings 59-58 to at the break. Eric Hasseltine and Elliot Perry will have the second half call when we return here on the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. That's tonight's halftime show. Stay tuned for the second half of tonight's game, just moments away, right here on the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. Frame Corner is proud to serve the custom framing needs of Memphis area artists, designers, and businesses. Frame Corner designers are experts in preservation and bring years of experience when it comes to matching your specific design style. Frame Corner specializes in framing fine art originals and prints, professional photography, sports, and cultural memorabilia. Locally owned and operated to fit the needs of Memphis. Frame Corner. We frame for Memphis. We frame for you. Located at 5035 Park Avenue or visit FrameCornerMemphis.com. For nearly 18 years, we've been delivering brand new vehicles right there in the Memphis market. And now we're excited to announce that Red River has a Toyota store right here in Wynn, just a short hop across the river to get the best deal on a new Toyota than anywhere else in your state or our state. Or we can bring it right to Memphis and drop it off in your driveway. You can order yours online right now at RedRiverToyota.com and we'll bring it to you. So check us out at RedRiverToyota.com or come see us and win. It's flu season. Protect yourself and loved ones with a seasonal flu shot from the shot nurse. Plus, to save yourself a trip, you can safely get the flu shot at the same time as other vaccines, including the latest bivalent COVID-19 booster. And the flu shot is free with most insurance. Get the protection you need with a personal touch at the shot nurse. With three locations, it's fast, convenient, and easy. 
protection you need with a personal touch. The Shot Nurse. Imagine you open up that box, you see that beautiful piece of jewelry, it was a gift, or maybe it's an engagement ring. And every time you look at it from now through the rest of your life, you're going to relive that beautiful moment over and over again. And that's why we do what we do at Robert Irwin Jewelers. It's not just the transaction. It's about the people. That's why we're here. We believe in putting the right piece of jewelry in the right person's hand because we know what it means to you. Bigger, brighter diamonds, better prices. Robert Irwin Jewelers or online at rijewelers.com. Free finance. Welcome back to FedEx Forum, where the Memphis Grizzlies are trying to open 2023 with a win. They lead the Kings by one at the break of 59 to 58. Here are Eric Hasseltine and Elliot Perry for the second half action. Thank you, JB. 59-58, Grizzlies by one. And it was John Morant with 18 points, three rebounds, three assists, 15 off the bench for Tyus Jones. 14 assists for the Grizzlies, 12 for the Kings. 30-29, to 29, Grizzlies re- win the rebounding battle. But the Kings got 11 more shots. Then the Grizzlies up. Grizzlies did get seven more free throws. Just a kind of a bizarre way to look at that. You, you, you don't think by looking at the offensive rebound numbers, Kings only had two more offensive rebounds. They had one fewer turnover. So I guess that's three right there. But I'm going to guess that the team rebounds where the Grizzlies had five, the Kings had five. Five of the Grizzlies team rebounds, at least a couple of them were on missed free throws. That's how it counts. And I think Three times the Kings got second chance opportunities off team rebounds. Yeah, and so overall it's just weird. Yeah, overall, you know, decent first half. Just got to make a few tweaks. Keep going with Jaron Jackson in the lane. I love that strategy, especially against Harrison Barnes defensively. Sabonis with it. He avoided picking up that third fall after getting two in the first. It's Sabonis, Barnes, Herter, Murray, and Fox. Barnes a left wing three to open things up. Buries the triple, and Harrison Barnes a double figure now with ten. So the Kings regain the lead. On the first possession of the third, 61-59. Morant between the circles. Picked up by Fox. Goes right around a Jackson Jr. screen. Little running right-hand floater. Rattles in for John Morant. He's got 20. And the Grizzlies tie the ball game at 61. Yeah, just, just continue to run those pick and rolls and, and just allow him to play free in, in space. Barnes became the third or fourth Kings player in double figures with 10 with that three. Sabonis has 14, Fox 10. And off the bench, Malik Monk had 12. Barnes, left corner feed, Keegan Murray. He'll fire a three. It's short. Rebound grab by Dylan Brooks. Brooks will drop it off for Ja Morant. Morant gives for Jackson. Left corner feed, Conchar. Conchar back to Jackson on the left wing. Open look at a line drive three. is yeah, short. Rushing. I don't know why. He's, he's rushing. Like, well, rushing it. Why, are you, why is he standing out on the perimeter? He's got such an advantage. Barnes back the other way. An open left wing three, and that's twice now. Jackson's got caught hanging in the lane. And you miss a three on one end, and you got to chase back to the other. I mean, this is. Which is why I say punish Harrison Barnes on, on the perimeter. Jackson into the lane at Harrison Barnes, lays it up and in, going right to the window, and uses that left-handed finger roll. He's got nine. Fox brings it over to the right wing, gives for Sabonis. Sabonis dribble handoff for Herter, sets a screen on Conchar. Herter will trigger a three. It rattles in. Kings did this early going, and, De- and Taylor Jenkins early on called the timeout. He'll do it again here. The Kings have buried three threes to open up. Remember, they opened up on a 16-7 to run to take a nine-point lead. Grizzlies take a timeout here. 67-63, Kings by four, with 10-13 remaining in the third on the Memphis Grizzlies radio network. Sauced by Will Smith is taking the championship taste to FedEx Forum. Come enjoy your favorite lineup of sauces on traditional and boneless wings the next time you see the Memphis Grizzlies play. All of your favorite sauces, including the famous Garrick sauce, are now available as you cheer the home team on. Visit Sauced by Will Smith inside FedEx Forum at your next Grizzlies game or come visit us anytime at our location in South Haven, Mississippi. Championship sauce, championship taste. Come get sauced today. Grizzlies fans know it's the team that gives you the edge. Big River Steel does too. And much like the Grizzlies have recruited legendary talent, we want you to be part of our team. Are you ready to be part of something legendary? Then visit www.bigriversteel.com. That's www.bigriversteel.com. Valley Sports Southeast is your network for Memphis Grizzlies basketball. Sensational! Tune in to see John Morant and the Beale Street Bears conquer the court all season long. Oh my God. 
Caught live on the same channels, including Uverse Channel 1727, DirecTV and DirecTV Stream Channel 649-2, and Xfinity Channel 1251, or stream on Valley Sports Plus or the Valley Sports app. Yes, Valley Sports Southeast, the Grizzlies grind here. Don't put off getting your oil changed, Memphis. The Grizzlies' official partner. Take five oil changes faster than you think. There's no appointment needed. There isn't even a waiting room. Yep, you heard that correctly. Take five oil changes so fast you don't even have to get out of your car. You can take advantage of Take Five's fast, friendly, and simple service at any of their locations across the Memphis area. And remember, at Take Five, you stay in your car because they're faster than you think. That means you won't even have time to show off your perfect jump shot or your killer crossover. Take Five, the stay in your car 10-minute oil change. Kings lead the Grizzlies by four up 67-63 with 10-13 to play in the third quarter. Grizz Nation grab the Grizzlies fan favorite Crunchwrap Supreme Combo and score free tacos. When you purchase this combo at your local Taco Bell through January 24th, you'll receive a key tag good for a free beef crunchy or soft taco on future visits. So maximize those free tacos and visit Taco Bell today to get your Grizzlies fan favorite Crunchwrap Supreme Combo. Eric? Thank you, JB. Grizzlies trailing by four, 67-63. Three threes for the Kings in the quarter, opening up on a 9-4 to four run. They got the ball to start, so they've scored each time down at the Grizz, but the Kings have scored each time down as well with three triples. It's a 9-4 advantage. Got him. In the quarter, Jackson working into the lane, turn around left-handed hook, and the Grizzlies attack the paint again, and they cut the lead to two. Yeah, again, just... Force Harrison Barnes to have to play defense, Eric. I think the more physical you are with him, the you know it, it's going to wear on him. Fox to the right wing for Barnes. Barnes drives it in the lane, running finger That's roll is no good. Good Jaren. defense by Jaron to run off Barnes from the three point line. Brooks trailing the play, catches left wing, drives it at Keegan Murray, forced a bad look. Offensive rebound to Adams. Adams is fouled on the stick back, and Keegan Murray will pick up his second. Adams will go to the line. He grabbed his 15th rebound of the game right there. 9:37 remaining. In the third, 67-65, Grizzlies 12 of 17, and Adams, who, as we know, struggles from the line this year, 32.6%, 28 makes, and 86 tries will go to the stripe. I mean, you watch his form, it's not bad. Yeah, It's got good release and rotation. He just can't get it to get the rhythm, and he knocks the first down. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I will say, again, I'm going back to kind of an old-school thought, Eric, is, if you don't have anything on a break, I mean, that, that shot Dylan Brooks took was a tough shot early in, early in the shot clock. If you don't have anything, it's been working with Jaron Jackson. Go back to Jaron Jackson. Either Again, like I said, they're going to have to make a decision to double team you. You're going to get open on the perimeter. Or, again, he's been scoring. Adams made the first, missed the second. Grizzlies trail by one, 67-66. De'Aaron Fox into the front court. Fox with Sabonis setting a screen. Lobs for Sabonis at the foul line. Looking for Herter. Can't give it to him. Drives to the lane. Lays it up and in. Quick first step for Damatis Sabonis to push the lead back to three as Adams just couldn't prevent that left hand getting to the glass. Morant, a little hesitation move to the left baseline, brings it back out, working on Fox, kicks it out for Brooks. Brooks going to work at Keegan Murray, spins into the paint, hops to the window, lays it up and in with the left hand. Good strong move yeah. to the hole by Dylan Brooks. Now a quick inbounds for De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, Fox foul. is bumped and fouled. Hey, take that one. Brooks didn't have a foul yet in the ball. Well, I, I just still think that everybody was back. So, he, you know, it didn't. It wasn't like he had an advantage. Uh, Jaron Jackson was right there. You just hope. Again, I, I just don't want to foul because there was no reason to foul. Fox is so fast and kind yeah, of getting to stop the break there. Beast. Essentially, oh, he is terrific. Drafted after Markel Fultz and Lonzo Ball. Herder on a backdoor cut gets to the window. Misses the left-hand shot. Late whistle. We're going to get a whistle and a foul. John ja Moran is telling Taylor Jenkins that he got ball. Let's take a look at the replay and see if we can see before. Let's see if Ja makes any contact. Oh, he got him. It's a foul. It's a foul. I mean, he may have gotten ball, but he get him on the he hit him on the wrist. That's a good call. 69-68, Kevin Herter to the line. Surprisingly enough, Herter's free throw numbers are not where you would expect for someone that's a really good outside shooter. 69.4%. He knocks down the first, of course, with nothing but net. He's got seven points now in the ball game. Kings are 11 for 11 from the line. And one of the things they do well is they obviously they keep the floor spread because they have four perimeter guys uh, on the floor starting area, but they back cut. When you try to overplay these guys, they do a good job of back cutting. Yep. 
They do a terrific job sneaking that back door. Brooks back the other way. Quick trigger, left wing three is no good after Herter made his second and pushed the lead to three. Fox into the front court, works it. Brooks to the left baseline, back with a right hand dribble into the paint. Euro steps to the inside the line and a late whistle and a foul going to be called on Dylan Brooks. It's going to be two free throws for Fox. And I continue to say you have to value your possessions. This is where understanding the game and understanding what you're doing matters, Eric. Qu another quick three-point shot by Dylan Brooks early in the shot clock. Again, no advantage. You don't have anything. If you're going to play half court, throw the ball down low to Jerry and just allow him to. That way, everything is under control. Fox to the line makes the first. 8.39 remaining in the third. 72-68. Kings looking to push the lead back to five. Yeah, and I say that because this team operates in a healthy skelter game because they can get up and down the floor because they're playing small ball. They want to get up and down the right. floor. They don't want to play half-court basketball. No, nah, they're a fast-paced team. They thrive on offense. They do not thrive on defense. Morant feeds for a cutting down. Oh, Conchar. Conchar. Catches and lays it up and in. Great pass by Morant. Now a lead out ahead for Herter. Herter gets by Morant. Fires a left sideline three that's short. Adams grabs his 16th rebound. Gives for Morant. Three-point Kings lead, 73-70. Morant with a dribble. Top of the arc. Jackson's right behind him. Now goes over to the left wing. Morant going to work downhill at De'Aaron Fox. Morant into the lane at Sabonis. Little step back floater is good. 73-72. Morant has 22. Yeah, nice job by John Morant. Really staying patient that time. King's lead is one. Eight minutes remain in the third. 7.59 now as we tick under eight. Fox gets by Brooks through the lane, kicks it out top for Barnes. Barnes, another open look at a three. This one's going to be short. Jackson, the rebound, gives for Morant. Morant off the dribble into the front court quickly. Drives it down to Keegan Murray, lost the handle, got it back. Morant keeps the dribble. Right sideline, Conchar, three for the lead. No good. Offensive rebound fought for by Adams. He hit the deck. No foul call. Ian Barnes got tangled up. Sabonis drops it off for Barnes. Barnes to the right wing. Fox underneath Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray lays it up and in. Technical foul, and Taylor Jenkins just got teed up by Jason Goble. Jenkins is hot. 75-72. He wanted a foul. On the rebound. Tangle up with, well, there's no foul there. There's no foul there. I mean, I understand what Taylor Jenkins thought he saw because Adams hit the deck, but there really was no foul there. Barnes kind of got out of the way. Adams landed off balance. Herter will take the technical foul shot. Grizzlies will find themselves potentially down four and do, and they'll get the basketball on the baseline. Jason Goble, younger brother of John Goble. Teeing up the head coach of the Grizzlies, Taylor Jenkins, who got his money's worth for the argument, I think. Yep. 76-72, Grizzlies down four after the free throw. And the bucket by Keegan Murray, the free throw by Herter. Morant in the lane, hangs. Wild left-hand scoop shot is good. 76-74, wow. 24 points for John Morant. That is your shot nurse shot of the game. The shot nurse, the protection you need with a personal touch. Sabonis runs by. Oh, he calls a blocking foul. He, oh, this is one you he, want to challenge. He may have been in the – got to see if he was in a restricted zone, though. Wow. I mean, that's good job by John. He's standing on the line. Yeah, he stepped right onto the line. I think he, I think you're right. I think the foot was on the line. Yeah, but, that, but that's, just a, that's a good idea. I mean, so, again, I, I like this kind of – they're, they're good. I mean, you, you can see they're more engaged defensively, and they're going to start to get, get those calls, but I think they're going to be more aggressive, and you're going to see their defense step up. 76-74. It was a good call. Morant's foot did catch the line. He got there and then just slid it back. Sabonis so from the left wing. Kicks it back out, Herter. Herter pump fakes. Drives into the paint. Kicks right wing Keegan Murray. Open look at a three. Got it. Nice drive and kick. Kings back up 5-79-74. Grizzly defense has to start picking things up. You can't expect the Kings to shoot in the low 30s all night long. Brooks working one-on-one -on, -one on Keegan Murray. Into the lane he comes. Hops into a fadeaway 12-footer. That is Dylan Brooks' favorite shot, and he knocks it down. Yeah, got right to his spot. Three-point game, 79-76. Brooks now with six. Fox, top of the key jumper. That's going to miss off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Jackson. Jaron with the dribble down the floor. Terminates the dribble at the top of the key. Gives behind him for John Morant. Morant working on Keegan Murray. Step back three for the tie. No good. Adams grabs the rebound in traffic. Adams keeps it, and we get a whistle and a foul. 
Boy, he had Dylan Brooks wide open, and the Kings commit the foul. Adams, 17th rebound, 620 remaining here in the third, and the Kings lead 79-76. And what's becoming a really good ball game between these two teams. Yeah. I mean, so again, two really good teams. I mean, and you, you, you're starting to see the Grizzlies play multiple teams that are going to be or are in the playoff hunt, Eric. So better teams, and they've done a really good job of competing. Kings are leading this because they're 15 of 15 from the line and 10 of 31 from three. Grizzlies are 7 of 18 from three and 13 of 19 from the line. Brooks into the lane. Little running. Fade away. No good. Offensive rebound. Batted away from Adams by Sabonis and picked up by Barnes. Sabonis with a terrific job keeping that alive for the Kings. Sabonis drives. Kicks behind him left wing Barnes. Barnes a little push off on Brooks. Goes into his body. Brooks stayed big. No foul called. Rebound on the missed shot. Grabbed by Moran. Three-point Kings lead. Moran working on Davion Mitchell. Gets bumped, foul, floats it up. Oh, they're going to say no shot. Whoa, he went up in the air with the reach, and he took the shot. I, I, I don't understand these rules anymore. Wow. Jason Goble is saying that was a rip-through foul that Morant created the contact ripping through. I thought it was body contact, and Morant went up, but. That's the official's decision, so the ball will go to the side. It's only the third team foul on the Kings. Adams, hands for Morant. Down the left side at Mitchell. Hanging bank shot is good. Soft touch. John Morant's got 26. 5.46 remaining. One-point game, 79-78. Kings lead with the ball. Mitchell working in on David Roddy. Through the lane over to the right sideline. Davion Mitchell backs out to the deep right wing. He'll give top of the arc for Arvidas, I mean, excuse me, for Demata Simonis. Bounces for a cutting Kevin Herter. Herter in the paint. Nowhere to go. No look to Keegan Murray. Open three is too strong. Goes out of bounds. It'll belong to the Grizz. Great look by Herter. Murray misfires. He's now two of six from long range. Malik Monk going to replace Keegan Murray. And I don't know if that's a good thing for the Grizzlies. Monk was really solid in that first half with 12 first-half points off the bench. Well, then it comes down to knowing your personnel, so whoever's guarding him, they're going to have to give their attention to him. Eric, they can't help off as much. Super athletic. Morant lets the ball roll in. We'll pick it up. And Davion Mitchell backs up behind the midcourt line as Morant crosses the timeline, gives right wing for Jones. Jones with a screen on his left, uses it, kicks left corner Mor or Morant. Rhythm three is off the mark. Adams taps the rebound back to David Roddy. Roddy tried to feed it out to the wing. It got deflected, and a loose ball foul going to be called on Davion Mitchell. Mitchell didn't like it. I got to be honest with you. I think you let that go. Yeah, you let that go. I mean, it's anybody's ball. That's anybody's ball, and Mitchell has a right to it. I, I think if I'm Sacramento, I'm a little upset at that one, but the foul is called. It's the fourth team foul. There was a lot of contact, so. And you, you think about in the first half, Eric, I thought their bench really good. Came gave in and really boost, played yeah. well and gave them a boost. So we'll see how it, it goes in this third quarter. Both teams benches with 21 points. 15 for Tyus Jones, 2 for Roddy Tillman and Chandler. 12 for Monk, 7 for Lyles, and 2 for Rashawn Holmes. Inbounds comes for Roddy. Roddy back out to the deep left wing for Morant. Davion Mitchell, very good defender, presses out towards midcourt. Morant a couple dribbles between his legs. Downhill at Sabonis. Pull up 10-footer on the way. Oh, too strong. Got a great shot. look at it. That would have given the Grizzlies the lead. Herter in transition. Gives for Monk. Monk back to Herter at the top. Left wing Sabonis. Open look at a three. No good. Rebound grabbed by Morant. He's going to run with it. Morant gets by Herter. Into the lane. Shovels to Conchar. Conchar. Wild left hand layup. Spins off the glass and in. Oh, John Conchar taking a page out of John Morant's highlight book and saying, let me show you how I can do it. What a layup by Conchar on the left side of the glass. He gets the foul. He'll get one more. I mean, fantastic play by Conchar, but great push by Morant. Eric. Get the rebound, push the ball back at him, pushing the tempo. And then what a finish by John Conchar. Fifth assist for Morant. Conchar gets his fourth basket of the game. He's got nine points. He can put the Grizzlies up two with a free throw here. He does just that. Grizzlies now 14 of 20 from the line. 4.46 remaining in the Grizzlies' lead, 81-79. That was beautiful basketball. Davion Mitchell on the right wing. Gives top of the arc for Sabonis. Pump fake the three. He's not really looking to shoot it. Hands it off for Herter. Herter to his left towards the left corner. Back to the top for Mitchell. Mitchell works off the dribble at Morant. Nowhere to go. Finds Trey Lyles. Right wing three. No good. Rebounded by Tyus Jones. Jones will pick up his third board of the ball game. Gives across the floor for Morant with 18 on the shot clock. Morant got bumped by Mitchell. Into the lane he comes, keeping the dribble. Runs into Mitchell. It's going to be an offensive foul. Yep. 
Mitchell was right there. Morant shouldered in. That's a good call. And probably didn't have to really do that, Eric. I mean, just had he to has, just go ahead could, and elevate over him. He could elevate and go over him at any time. No doubt about it. Good defense by Mitchell. He got to that spot. 4.15 remaining here in this third quarter. 81-79. We'll get a timeout at the under three-minute mark. Morant in this quarter with eight points already. 4.12 left to go in the third. And the Kings have the basketball down to 81-79. Monk on a handoff. Oh, Tries to feed for Mitchell. Deflected by Adams. Steal for the Grizz and a break. Jones lobs for Conchar. He lays it up and in in midair. Conchar goes up and gets it. Finger rolls it off the box. He's got 12 and a beautiful feed from Jones. Monk, top of the arc. Around a screen from Sabonis. Down the right side of the lane. At Adams. Lays it up wildly with our left hand. It's no good. Sabonis the rebound. Into the right corner for Lyles. Three on the way. Rims out. Rebound grabbed by Jones. Here come the Grizz. Up by four. 83-79. Jones working on Monk. Into the lane. Running right hand floater. No good. That would have caused a timeout for Sacramento for sure. Monk on the push. Down the floor. Cut off by Morant. Kicks left wing Herder. Herder off the bounce. Into the paint. Goes at Adams. Running right hand floater is going to miss. Rebound grabbed by Conchar. Good job. Kings have gone cold offensively. Good job by Josh slowing it down. 6.58. The Kings got a basket to go up. 79-74. That's almost four minutes ago. And it is a 9-0 Grizzly run. Roddy, a straightaway three. No good. Off a handoff from Adams. The rebound grabbed by Sabonis. 83-79. 83-79. The Grizzlies have tightened up defensively, and the Kings have started to miss a couple. Herder on the right wing, working on Conchar to the right baseline. Spins into the paint, drops it off Sabonis. Ball gets deflected. Morant saves it off of Mitchell and out of bounds. Oh, no! Oh, no! Jason Gobel said his foot was out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, You're my 40 goodness. feet away. No! No! Absolutely not! Morant's foot was not down. Oh, what is my he goodness. Doing? That is a terrible call. Get out of the call. way, man. He may, that he, is the, a the terrible right call. right there on the baseline. He see it. He didn't see it. He couldn't see it through the player. 244 remaining timeout in the action. 240 left. 244 left. 83-79. Grizzlies 5-4. Kings will get it when we come back on the Memphis Grizzlies radio network. Great teams leave it all on the field. But with the powerful towing and payload that Ford F-150 delivers, you can take it all with you, too. No wonder Ford F-Series is America's best-selling truck 44 years straight. The 2021 Ford F-150, built for greatness. Visit your local Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com. Based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales, Obstructive sleep apnea is a sleep-related breathing disorder where a person's breathing is blocked or cut off while sleeping. It is seen in all age groups, but increases in frequency as we age and gain weight. Symptoms include snoring, excessive daytime sleepiness, gasping during sleep, and or insomnia. To schedule an appointment, contact Mid-South Pulmonary and Sleep Specialists at 901-276-6507. Let them help you breathe easy and sleep well. Rehearsals for the school play were really coming along. Bigger smile, Mr. Squirrel. Until a custodian accidentally threw away the costumes. Oh, no. Everyone was rattled. Miss Garrity forgot how to play. And the queen of the hedgehogs almost quit. Find a new queen. But replacement costumes were shipped with FedEx. And with added peace of mind from picture proof of delivery, everyone could focus on the perfect opening night. FedEx, where now meets next. For residential delivery only. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits. Perfect for seeing Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. Presented by Capital One. Oh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. Grizzly! 
Cavaliers lead the Kings 83-79 to with 2.44 to play in the third quarter. Get your tickets now for the Grizzlies' annual Faith and Family Night on Sunday, February 5th, when the Grizzlies take on the Toronto Raptors at 5 p.m. After the game, there will be a faith-based Q&A with Grizzlies forward Jake LaRavia. For more information, go to grizzgroups.com slash faithandfamily. Eric? Kings ball out of the timeout. Should have been Grizzlies ball, but those things happen. you got to get through it as Rashawn Holmes checks in, takes the inbounds pass, gives for Fox. Right wing feed Davion Mitchell is three, no good. So no harm for the Grizzlies there. As they get the stop, and the Kings remain scoreless since the 6.58 mark of the third quarter. Kings came out hot from beyond the perimeter. Grizzlies have cooled them down and opened up a four-point lead. Brooks, a step back, left wing three, bring it up. Put three on the board as Dylan Brooks Buries the left wing triple over Malik Monk. Tyus Jones will get the assist, and the Grizzlies lead is seven. Monk back the other way. Quick trigger, sideline three is good. You cannot give that young man any space. Well, you try to deny him the basketball as much as possible, especially when the ball is on the other side of the court, Eric, from your weak side. 86-82, Monk's three. Ends the scoring drought of almost five minutes for the Kings. Left corner, Roddy off a feed from Brooks. Fires a three, it's no good. Brooks grabs the offensive rebound away from Fox. Kicks it out, Kennedy Chandler. Chandler to the window, trying to lay pan layup around Trey Lyles. That was a bad decision Love to see him by the shoot that little floater. Yep. Davion Mitchell back the other way, drives it to the window and lays it up and in. Brooks inbounds for Jones. Here come the Grizz. Kings cut it to two, 86 84. Jones bounces for Tillman going to the window, lays it up and in. Perfect pick and roll. Tillman and Jones, 88 84 with 90 seconds remaining in the third. Lob for Holmes, deflected Good by hustle. Tillman off the glass, grabbed by Brooks. Four on four situation. Tillman and Holmes late to get back. Now they're in the front court. Roddy going to back down on Trey Lyles. 15 on the shot clock. The rookie out of Colorado State spins to the block. Left side pulls up a left hand, a right-handed bank shot attempt that rattled out, and he'll get fouled in two free throws. David Roddy had a point-blank look, absorbing the contact, but could not finish the play. Yeah, and that's one of the few times I've seen him really use his size, Eric, to back somebody down, particularly Trey Lyles, who's a little bit bigger than him, but with that big body, he was able to get good position that time and just barely missed that shot with four and in one. 114 remaining here in the third quarter. 88 84. Roddy at the line. Do want to take this time as Roddy sets and bounces, fires the first to wish our best to one of our favorite people in the Grizzlies organization. Paula Richmond has been with us for going on two decades. She's retiring this week. We will not be what? back here for another home game. Miss Paula as she is well-known and beloved around the organization, has worked in our arena operations yeah. department, like I said, for going on two decades. She's a dear friend, and she is off into the sunset. We wish her all the best. We love Absolutely. her very much. We will definitely miss seeing Miss Paula around these parts. 89-84, Fox lobs to the rim for Monk, threw it too high. Roddy went one of two, and Monk couldn't get the alley-oop as Fox overthrew it. Turnover for the Kings. Roddy to the rim, tries a right-handed jam, powers it through the block of Holmes. It didn't dunk in, but it falls into the bucket anyway, and David Roddy with an aggressive move now has five. 91-84, Fox working it in on Brooks. Hanks trying to kick it out to the wing. Brooks deflected it, but it went right to Holmes. Holmes gives it back for Fox. Up top, Monk. Grizzlies defense being pesky tonight. Monk on the right wing around a Rashawn Holmes screen. Fires a deep two, or it's a three. He buries it. Boy, it looked like from here that he stepped on the line, but Jason Goble right there. And 91-87 is the score after Monk knocks down his third three. He's got 18 points. He's not shy. 7 of 16 from the field. He's got the most field goal attempts of any king. Brooks, an open left wing three back the other way. Off the mark. Rebound grab by Trey Lyles. Jones found Brooks, and he got a great look. Shot clock turned off. Monk will walk it up ahead. Grizzlies will get it to start the fourth. Can you get a stop and head to the fourth with a four-point lead? Monk, top of the arc on a switch. Picked up by Tillman. He'll fire a straightaway three. I thought he was going to bank it in. Rebounded by Chandler. Chandler to Tillman at midcourt. He'll heave it up. Can't get it to go. It wouldn't have counted anyway. Grizzlies get the stop. got a case here too. i'm with you brother if you start moving towards the baseline yeah. pick that ball and up, you pick the ball snip. up and don't dribble again to me that's nba continuation uh, it, this has gone to a point where they're saying oh it wasn't in the act of shooting well what did you think he was doing yeah. he wasn't going to run to the baseline he was in the in the gather and in the motion of trying to get a shot up he got fouled holmes on the deep right wing holmes holding 
Kicks it out for Fox. Ten on the shot clock. Fox around a home screen to his right, towards the right baseline. Fade away 20-footer over Jackson is no good. Lyles crashes in for the board, taps it away. Picked up by Keegan Murray. Murray out for Monk. Monk driving it in at Jones. Feeds to the sideline, and Murray wasn't there. Monk throws it away. Good job by Lyles to go over the top of the smaller Kennedy Chandler. Not foul, and the Grizzlies stayed with it. Didn't break down defensively after giving up the offensive board. 96-90. And, and, and this lineup has, has been really scrappy. Grizzlies by six with the ball. 10-13 remain in the game. Brooks drives it in at Murray, the rookie from Iowa. Gives it out for Tillman. Tillman spins in the lane with Sean Holmes. Ooh. Slaps it out of his hands and out of bounds. I think Tillman's going to get credit for a shot attempt there and a block for Rashawn Holmes. That'll be his second block. And Tillman now two of four. He came into the game making his last 14 shots. Missed his first one, made his next two. That's the second miss of the night, two for four. Inbounds comes for Tillman from Jones, gets it back. Five on the shot clock. Jones going to have to make a move at Keegan Murray. Steps into a left wing three and banks it in. Ring it up. Put three on the board. Tyus Jones with 18. I don't care if he called yeah, it or we'll not, take it counts. It. Monk to the top for Fox. It's a nine-point Grizzly lead. Fox gives for Keegan Murray. The rookie back to the Aaron Fox in between the circles. Lobs for Lyles. Lyles catches over the top of Chandler, and Chandler reaches in and commits a foul. Jackson was coming, measured up Trey Lyles, and was looking for his fourth block of the ball game. Yeah, And they identified that mismatch, Eric. You can see they were very patient until they got what they wanted, and it, credit to Lyles was just kind of staying patient, riding uh, Chandler up uh, as he was fronting him. But you're right, Jaron was right there. Well, that's two times Lyles has gotten over the top of Kennedy Chandler and done it without fouling. That's good work by the big man right there. Sabonis so back in the ball game, drops it off for Fox at the top of the arc. Fox to the right elbow, 15-footer on the way, no good. Jackson taps the rebound in the middle of the lane and picked up by Tyus Jones. Jones on the bounce into the front court, drops it off Jackson, pump fakes the right wing three, drives it in at Sabonis, running left-hand hook is too strong. Jackson was a little hesitant. He dives on the floor to take the rebound away from Sabonis. Jackson going to call a timeout. Grizzlies will keep the possession as they have one to use right now. 99-90, we'll take the break. Grizzlies by 9, 9-21 remaining in the ballgame on the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. For nearly 18 years, we've been delivering brand new vehicles right there in the Memphis market. And now we're excited to announce that Red River has a Toyota store right here in Wynn, just a short hop across the river to get the best deal on a new Toyota than anywhere else in your state or our state. Or we can bring it right to Memphis and drop it off in your driveway. You can order yours online right now at RedRiverToyota.com and we'll bring it to you. So check us out at RedRiverToyota.com or come see us in Wynn. Nacho fries are back at Taco Bell. You know, the fries covered in bold Mexican spices you dip in a warm nacho cheese sauce. You can also dunk them in nacho cheese sauce or pour the sauce onto a pile of them and create like a nacho fries nachos. The thing is that you eat them with nacho cheese sauce. That's what makes them nacho fries. Otherwise, you're just eating fries and sipping on nacho cheese sauce, and that's the wrong way. Sorry, just really passionate about nacho fries. Nacho fries are back, only at Taco Bell. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations for a limited time only while supplies last. Contact local store for hours and participation, which vary. Hey, Memphis Grizzlies fans. Did you know that at any given time, there are 100 million pieces of litter on the state's roadways? And each year, the Tennessee Department of Transportation spends over $23 million picking up litter off the streets, rivers, lakes, and streams. Everyone can play a role in keeping Tennessee clean and safe. Visit NobodyTrashesTennessee.com to learn how you can get involved in the movement to end littering. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. Ah, thinking about gas mileage? If your check engine light is on, it may be affecting your MPGs, but the free AutoZone Fix Finder service can help. With the most complete free warning light report backed by technician verified fixes, you'll know what's affecting your gas mileage and more, and you don't have to drive too far to find the fix. The free AutoZone Fix Finder service is available at all 6,200 stores. Get in the zone, AutoZone. See details at AutoZone.com. Nine twenty-one to play, and the Grizzlies lead the Kings 99-90. to Fast Break Breakfast and Grits and Grinds are now video podcasts. Fast Break Breakfast, hosted by Keith Parrish, John Burr, and Chuck Anderson, Serves up serious NBA analysis in a not-so-serious way, plus Grits and Grinds, hosted by Keith, is for the obsessed Grizzlies fan that wants on- and off-the-court updates and analysis 
all year long. You can watch now on their respective YouTube channels or subscribe to each and download today at grindcitymedia.com, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Eric. Thank you very much, Jessica Benson. Grizzlies on top by nine. John Morant will check back into the ball game with Stephen Adams, Tyus Jones, Dylan Brooks, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Believe we owe you a legal ID, or do we not? We will have to try to get that to you momentarily. Morant from the corner to inbound with 11 on the shot clock. Gets it in right wing, Jackson. Back out deep left wing for Jones. Matched up with Harrison Barnes. Jones going to go off the dribble towards the baseline. Feeds it out top, Brooks. Brooks drives to the left elbow. Fires over Keegan Murray. It's no good. Offensive rebound to Adams. Adams goes up and off the window and in. Steven Adams with the bucket. And another rebound in the Grizzlies lead by 11. Jaron Jackson Jr.'s hustle kept that play alive, called the timeout, and the Grizzlies capitalized. Yeah, paid off. Adams with seven points and 18 rebounds tonight. Sabonis feeds for Keegan Murray, almost threw it away. Backs it out beyond the three-point line. Looking for Sabonis, gives it to him right wing. Picked up by Jackson. Sabonis with a lefty dribble, shoulders in. Bounces for a cutting Keegan Murray, who floats it up, and it rattles in and out. Rebound grabbed by Jones. Tough shooting night for the Kings continues. They're below 40%. Left side, Jones to the baseline. Gives elbow left for Adams. 14 on the shot clock. Adams picks up his dribble. Kicks it out top for Brooks. Brooks spins to his right. Down the right side of the paint. Pump fakes. Fades away. Drops it off Adams underneath. Adams a turnaround right-handed hook. No good. Gets his own miss and jams it home viciously with two hands. The basket is still shaking as the big man has another 20-rebound night. He's now got nine points. I just love the way they played in this second half offensively, Eric. All under control offensively, defensively, switching, and then the defense is all connected. 105-92, Herder, nice pocket bounce pass to Sabonis. Great defensive rotation by the Grizzlies. Sabonis, though, finds Barnes in the right corner, and he buries it. And and I'm not worried about that as much. You forced him to take an extra pass, Eric. I mean, you're going to have to give up something. John Morant, great rotation, he and Jaron Jackson. Back-to-back 20-rebound games for Steven Adams. Grizzlies inbound in the backcourt. Morant brings it across the timeline, picked up. On the deep left wing by Davion Mitchell. He'll lob for Adams with 6.05 remaining. 105.95. Grizzlies by 10. Adams into the body of Sabonis. Turn around right handed hook is good. His 10th double double of the year. Steven Adams with 11 points and 20 boards. Not that bad of an offensive player. I mean, that, that no. was really easy, Eric. But this strength just moves you Sabonis out of the way. You, ah. you cannot just stop him man on man like that. Jackson tries to run through a screen or around a screen and knocks Sabonis down. It'll be his third personal foul, third team foul. No one in the game really in any significant foul trouble for either side. Jackson has three, Adams with three, Morant with four, Mitchell with three, and Sabonis with three for the Kings. Conchar will return. He replaces Jackson. As the Kings going small, Barnes, Sabonis, Herter, Fox, and Monk. Sabonis, hands for Kevin Herter. Good shooter from Maryland. Had it poked away from behind by Jones. Goes to Sabonis, who gets to the window and lays it up and in. 107-97. Boy, Jones poked that free, but it went right to Sabonis. Going to the rim, and Sabonis now with 16-14 and 14 tonight. Double-double for Dematis Sabonis. 5.25 remain in the ballgame. 10-point Grizzly lead. Morant around a Conchar screen to the deep right wing. Picked up by Herter. Downhill running bank shot attempt is good. You can't stop that. No, John Morant's got 28. Just drove it, drove it easily down the right side and banked it home. 109.97. Fox from the top. Morant nearly pokes it free. Fox spins it in on Adams. He blocks the layup attempt. Nearly got it on the baseline. It goes out of bounds. Adams with another block shot, his second of the ball game. Well, you think about John Moran, straight line drive to the basket. Eric, nice little floater on the right side of the court, but they're trying to force him to go right, trying to keep him from coming to his left hand, you know, and he's just doing a good job of taking what the defense gives him. Sabonis, a deep left elbow jump shot, rims out, rebounded by the Grizz, and they lead by 12 with a basketball. 4.56 remain in the contest in the Grizzlies. Going to milk a little clock here. The clock quickly becoming the ally of the Grizz. Morant has 28. Looking for another 30-point night. Drives. Runs it up. He's got it. With another floater, John Morant, 11 of 19 from the field. 30 points on the night again. Monk on the right wing. Monk towards the right baseline. Bumped by Brooks. Feeds in the lane for a cutting Kevin Herter. Nice pass by Malik Monk. Yeah, and like I said before, that's they do a good job of that, Eric. Somebody's always cutting to the baskets. So trying to relieve that guy if he if he needs an outlet. 
111-99. Grizzlies by 12, 415 remaining here in the ball game. Adams right elbow, hands for Brooks. Brooks behind an Adams screen, backs out, drives it in with a left-handed Barnes, pull up 15-footer on the way. Dylan Brooks gets another one. He's got 15, and the Grizzlies' lead is 13. 14, excuse me. Fox back the other way. Euro steps at Brooks, lays it up and in. Fox came right back down the floor, challenged Brooks, laid it home. 113-101, 12-point game. My apologies for my math. Stinking out loud right there. Brooks. Double team comes. Slobs top of the arc for Adams. Adams to the right corner. Conchar wide open. Look at a three. No good. Adams corrals the rebound. His 21st. Adams holds out to the left wing for Jones. Jones back to Adams. Working on Barnes. He spun. He traveled. Yep. Picked up the pivot foot. Whew, that was too quick a move. I thought it was nice. And it was. Yeah. It's just illegal. 3.30 remaining in the ball game. 12-point Grizzly lead. 113-101. As the Grizz... Getting the job done tonight. That's their 11th turnover of the ball game. Top of the arc, Fox. Drives to the left side of the lane. Fadeaway 10-footer over Brooks is good. Tough shot, the Aaron Fox. The lead cut to 10. 321 remaining. King's not going to let the Grizzlies just inbound freely here. As Jones will inbound it for Brooks, and they put on a little press. Brooks back to Jones. Grizzlies can hurry and have a, a numbers advantage. They don't. Jones splits a double team. Bounces for Moran. He's wide open. Moran on the deep right wing. Behind the back flip to Tyus Jones. Cross-court feed Conchar. Open left corner three. No good. Rebounded by Fox. Great look. Kings are giving Conchar that look, and that's something he'll take. Herter, a left wing three tries. Good. Seven-point game. 113-106. Timeout going to be taken by the Grizzlies. We owe you a 10-second pause. Let's do that right now as you listen to the Memphis Grizzlies radio network. This is WMFS FM and HD1 Bartlett, WMFS Memphis, 92.9 FM ESPN. An Odyssey station. The Kevin Herter three gives him 14 points. Grizzlies lead 113-106. We'll take the break on the Memphis Grizzlies radio network. She's wanting to say. Great teams, leave it all on the field. But with the powerful towing and payload that Ford F-150 delivers, you can take it all with you, too. No wonder Ford F-Series is America's best-selling truck 44 years straight. The 2021 Ford F-150, built for greatness. Visit your local Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com. Based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. What's Grizzlies checking like? Picture a bank voted one of the best places to work in the country and a team that leaves it all on the court, not just to serve clients, but to wow them. That's what it's like. And if you open a Grizzlies checking account with at least $100 and a recurring direct deposit by February 15th, you could get a $200 MasterCard gift card. Details at grizzliesbanking.com. Grizzlies checking from Pinnacle. Play hard. Bank easy. Member FDIC. Rehearsals for the school play were really coming along. Bigger smile, Mr. Squirrel. Until a custodian accidentally threw away the costumes. Oh, no. Everyone was rattled. Miss Garrity forgot how to play. And the queen of the hedgehogs almost quit. Find a new queen. But replacement costumes were shipped with FedEx. And with added peace of mind from picture proof of delivery, everyone could focus on the perfect opening night. FedEx, where now meets next for residential delivery only. Did you know that driving under the influence of marijuana is illegal? Driving high will get you a DUI. And if you're wondering if law enforcement can tell you're driving high, well, everyone else can. Friends? I can tell you drove high. Parents? I can tell when you drive high. Relatives? I can tell. You drove here high, didn't you? So what makes you think law enforcement can't? I can tell. If you feel different, you drive different. Drive high, get a DUI. Paid for by NHTSA. Grizzlies lead the Kings 113-106 with 2.51 to play. Don't miss the newest Grand City Media podcast, Cage Side with John Morgan, a weekly video podcast that breaks down and previews everything in the world of mixed martial arts, including hard-hitting interviews by some of the biggest stars in the sports. New episodes drop every Monday. Visit GrindCityMedia.com for more. Eric? Thank you very much, Jessica, as the Grizzlies right now leading by seven. John Moran has his 14th 30-point game. Steven Adams has a 
back-to-back 20 rebound efforts. First time in franchise history anybody has had back-to-back 20 rebound games. The record over a two-game span for a Grizzly player, Jonas Valanciunas with 44. Adams is at 42. 235 remaining, seven-point lead. Morant around a screen from Adams into the lane. Little floater with the right hand, no good. Adams grabs his 22nd rebound and a sec- second chance opportunity for the Grizz. Brooks, deep left wing off of feed, working with Adams, five on the shot clock. Brooks working one-on-one on Kevin Herter. Step back, left wing three, no good. Adams can't get the rebound, he's fouled. Morant had it, and Devonis Sabonis commits his fourth personal foul. I mean, so much credit to Steven Adams. Like I said before, he, he but he's one of those guys who I admire because every night he comes out and just does his job, and he, he, he does it at a high level, Eric. 218 remaining. Adams with 22 boards, 11 points. His career high is 23. The franchise record is 26. Adams takes an inbounds pass, dribbles towards the right side, looking for Morant, trying to get it to him, does on the right sideline with Barnes on him. Five on the shot clock. Morant hasn't put it on the floor. Fires a three over Barnes. It's going to miss. Adams, his 23rd rebound. Adams, baseball pass out to Morant. Two minutes remain in the bowl game. Grizzlies by seven. Steven Adams is wreaking havoc. Morant drives in the lane, floats it up over. Sabonis and in. John wow. Morant's got 32. Here come the Kings. Fox, right wing feed Barnes. Open look at a three. No good. Adams taps the rebound on the glass. Batted around, grabbed by Morant, and the Grizzlies will set up offensively. Man, Adams has Steven 23 Adams. rebounds credited his way. As back the other way, Morant blows by his defender, lays it up and in, and that may be all she wrote. 11 point Grizzly lead. Morant has 34. Fox, Euro steps to the right wing, Barnes. Barnes drives, stolen on pass out to the top for Morant. He gets by his defender, jams with two hands. That is a clear pass foul. Grizzlies will get two in the ball, and this one may be just about over in Memphis tonight. I just love the energy down the stretch, Eric. They knew they had to close this game out. Credit Stephen Adams getting on the offensive glass. I thought that was a critical possession that time. Got two offensive rebounds, and then we ended up scoring with John Morant. The following plays will be used for a potential clear path foul. I mean, it's just that, I mean, that's just clear path. It should be easy. Yeah, it should be easy. Easy. That's why if, you're, to the if you're Malik that. Monk, you just got to let him go. That really hurts the Kings because even though your backs are against the wall, if Morant makes these foul shots and you get the ball with a 13 yeah. point lead, this thing's done, man. All five starters for the Grizzlies in double figures. 117, 106, and Morant will have at least two free throws here, I would think. Well, we consistently talk about the resilience of this basketball team. Obviously, missing some key players tonight, but their other players stayed ready. Eric, guys came in, Tillman came in, uh, uh, Chandler came in. Both of those guys really played well. Ronnie played well off the bench. I mean, you know, you can give some credit to those guys off the bench because this bench was really thin. After review, the play has been deemed to be a clear path foul. Since we're under two minutes, it is not a transition take foul. 126 remaining. It is a clear path foul. So it should be two shots in the ball. 126 left. John Morant will go to the line. Well, and I love how John has been playing over these last, you know, three weeks or so, Eric, because he's been having that fine line between facilitating Eric and having high number of assists, but also still getting, you know, getting his points. But he's been very efficient doing it. He hasn't just kind of just. 13 to 23 for 34 yeah. points. He missed the first free throw. He's 7 of 9 now. He had been 7 of 8. Shooting free throws better in the last couple weeks. And Morant's next one on the way is perfect. He's got 35 in the ball game. Back to back. 30 plus point games for John ja Morant. At least back to back. Is it three in a row? I'm trying to remember if he got 30 in Toronto. Toronto. Don't think he did. I think he only had 22 or something like that. I think he only had 19. 19. I think he had a career high 17 assists, though. Inbounds to the backcourt for Morant. Yeah, he had 19 and 17. But he had 32 in the previous game. Or excuse me, against the uh, Suns and Warriors, he had 30-plus. So 
It's four out of the last five. Brooks, left wing three on the feed for Moran is no good. Adams tries to back tap the rebound, cannot. 118-106, minute nine remaining. As Terrence Davis, pride of South Haven, into the ball game as Mike Brown has emptied the bench. Matthew Della Vadova, Alex Lynn, Shemezi Maitu, Casey Okpala. Taylor Jenkins going to do the same. Kennedy Chandler, Xavier Tillman, Vince Williams Jr., Kenneth Lofton Jr., and Jake LaRavia will take the floor. Adams a career-high 23 rebounds, career-high tying, and ties the franchise record for most rebounds in a consecutive game span with 44. Shemezi Maytu inbounds for Alex Len. Len lobs for Maytu and throws the, re- throws the alley-oop away. 118-106. When you think about another night where the scoring is really balanced, Eric, yep. across the board. I mean, great job by Tyus Jones off the bench with 18 points as well. And eight assists, six rebounds as well. I mean, easy to make John Morant your international paper player of the game. As Kenneth Lofton Jr. fires a straightaway three that's no good. 40 seconds remain. Dallavadova gives for Terrence Davis. Davis terminates the dribble, gives back for Dallavadova. The veteran out of St. Mary's gives left wing Alex Len. Len onto the left block for Shemezi Maytu. Maytu drives into the lane and... The pride of USC, like Jessica Benson, floats it up and in. Jessica, though, on her way down to the court. 118-108. Shot clock and game clock about even. Kennedy Chandler will dribble this one out, and it will be all she wrote. Grizzlies will improve to 23-13. and 13. Kings will fall to 19-16. and 16. Grizzlies, more importantly, have a 2-1 edge in the season series. As the clock ticks down, a shot clock violation. Kings will inbound. Zeros will hit the clock. And the streamers will fall from the Raptors. There it is. Zeros on the clock. Streamers from the Raptors. The Grizzlies have won it inside FedEx Forum. The final 118-108 over the Sacramento Kings here tonight. Your international paper player of the game, as we said, Tyus Jones, 18 points, 8 assists. You can take Steven Adams, 11 points, 23 rebounds. John Morant, 35 points. Jaron Jackson, 14 points, 7 rebounds, 3 blocks. 15 for Dylan Brooks, Brooks, 12 for John Conchar. Man, this team, when they are next man up situation, they fight, they scratch, they claw, and tonight they get the job done. That is an impressive win over a good Sacramento team. Yeah, no question about it. And then, like I said, they did it all together, Eric. I thought in the second half, defensively, they were on point defensively in the second half. And then in the second half, they made some, some adjustments on the offensive end. They were not forcing as much, but you have to give credit to Dylan Brooks. He was forcing a little bit in the first half. Eric came out in the second half, really settled down, and started taking really good shots, getting to his spots, taking good shots in rhythm. But the, I still say the bench really, I, I hate to say saved this game because John Moran had a really big game, but the bench really uh, helped this basketball game. Tyus Jones, we mentioned him, but Xavier Tillman coming in. Uh, Kennedy Chandler played well tonight. And a couple Ronnie, of big buttons, yeah, yeah. So, you know, all of those guys, when you're really thin, Eric, you don't know how those guys are going to respond because they haven't been in the normal rotations. Monk, who's a terrific bench scorer for Sacramento, had 18, and Tyus Jones matched him with 18. The bench scoring matched at 31 apiece. Yep. And when that happens and you're down the number of players the Grizzlies were down, that is a big, big situation. I believe we're going to talk to Tyus Jones as he steps over to the table. Well, I, I know, uh, first of all, Happy New Year, partner. Um, I know Ja had 35, but you're 18 points, six rebounds, eight assists. We were just talking about what you brought to the table coming in and matching what Malik Monk gives them. That's a big factor in this ball game. Talk about getting out their second night of a back-to-back against a high-energy team like this, and this team, once again, just digging deep and showing the, the moxie that, that has made them as good as you guys have been. Yeah, uh, happy New Year's uh, to you guys as well, yeah. uh, first and foremost. But, Absolutely. yeah, um, back-to-backs are always tough. Um, no excuses, though. We, we knew we had to come in here. This is a team that's playing really well. Um, they got a lot of firepower, um, you know, in their first group, you know, and off the bench. So uh, we just had to be ready. Um, and, yeah, we just wanted to continue to focus um, on playing a full 48 minutes, sticking to the game plan, um, regardless of, you know, the highs and lows of the game, just sticking with it, trusting in that. And uh, we did just that, and, and things swung our way. And, uh, yeah, we closed the game out nicely. Yeah, Tyus, I thought you guys, you know, made some slight adjustments in the second half defensively. Defensively, you guys were on point in the second half, fronting the guys when they had mismatches. The weak side guys were ready to, 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 to rotate over. So talk a little bit about that. Plus, I got a second question is, 
how important is Steven Adams? I mean, unbelievable on the glass tonight. Yeah, um, just making reads, um, guys staying ready, uh, ready to make plays, ready to shoot the ball. Um, so and, you got uh, your man. Yeah, so. my man. So <laughs> me. And uh, just ready to make plays, ready to shoot the ball, uh, just taking what the defense gives us. Um, and that starts with us at, at the point at the point spot. If uh, if our guys are open, um, it's our job to find them and put them in places to, to score the ball. And uh, they were doing the rest. And Stephen Stephen is extremely important to us. Uh, he's the anchor. Um, he he gives us so much life on, on those old boards. He gives us second chance points. He gives us um, you know you know putbacks, finishing. And then he you know he was aggressive, extremely aggressive tonight, uh, making plays with the ball. Um, attacking the hoop, finding fighting cutters and things like that. So he's extremely important to us. We know that. Uh, he knows that, and we love when he's aggressive. Did you call Bank on that one? Of course. There you go. I thought I heard you say that. I thought I heard you say that. It was a little quiet, but, I thought I heard you up here. I thought I saw it in the replay. Hey, look, I know you got your son in your hands. Go spend some time with him. It's a special time of year. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Terrific effort tonight. We'll see you in Charlotte. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, guys. Happy New Year. All right. Tyus Jones right there, 118, 108. Elliot, he came in and made those two threes in that first half when he first jumped in the game, and it really helped spark this Grizzlies team uh, early in that first quarter and kept them, put them right back out in front. Tyus Jones was a big reason why the Grizzlies offense yep. got rolling tonight. He finishes with eight assists in the ball game. And in the, with those eight assists, he didn't have a single turnover. 18 points, eight assists, six rebounds, not one single turnover. 118-108. Grizzlies by 10. They win it tonight over the Sacramento Kings. The postgame show is next on the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. That's the end of tonight's game. But don't go anywhere because coming up next, we'll break down tonight's game and wrap things up with tonight's Grizzlies postgame show. Next, next on the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. At Mountain Dew, we'd like to remind you that the world as we know it would not exist without the number zero. Which is why, at Mountain Dew, we'd like to recognize the number zero for making Mountain Dew Zero Sugar possible. Even with no sugar, it packs all of the bold citrus kick Dew Nation knows and loves. It's so good, you have no reason not to try it. As in zero. Get it? Crack open an ice-cold Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's zero sugar. All do. Hey, ladies, it's your girl, Big Sue. Let's have... ...trip, they came back home, they lost to Phoenix. But this is the way you respond. 